Good morning, science classes. Happy fall. Um, first day of fall today. Uh, sometimes also called uh, Chicago Henge, at least here in uh, Chicagoland. So the east-west streets of Chicago, going from the lake out towards O'Hare uh, today because it is the fall equinox. Uh, the sun actually rises and sets, perfectly aligned with the streets, so kind of a cool thing. Uh, should apply, you know, all over the suburbs, uh, out up to Milwaukee, that kind of thing. So if you happen to be out at sunset, we're obviously already past sunrise. Um, then, you know, you can take a look, um, get on an east-west street, take a look out to the west. You should be able to actually see the sunset today. Um, so cool thing, cool science thing. Wanted to share that out. Um, today's objective, I can explain the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy. I can identify examples of potential and kinetic energy. I know that's one of the struggles we've been having so far. Um, last week's lab was looking at potential and kinetic energy, read through them, looked at the notes, got them graded. Uh, it seems like we overall understood, but we haven't necessarily gotten to that point of calling it potential and kinetic energy. That's okay, didn't take points off for that if you did all the activities. So you could still score a check plus an eight um, as long as you finished all the activities and did your best on them. Um, so the grades are kind of all over the place on that. Like I said, everything's up to date right now with the midterm having ended, got everything up to date. Um, grades are due for teachers by uh, tomorrow, I believe, and then um, midterm reports come out on Friday. So this is our intro, We're gonna start with our bell ringer activity as well, homework review. Your homework on Friday was to consider ways that you use energy over the weekend. So we're gonna take a pause right here and talk about that. What types of ways do you use energy over the weekend? Taking a pause. Okay, great, so that conversation uh, should have gone well. Uh, and then looking at the rest of our agenda, we're gonna have a preview of the week, notes on potential and kinetic energy, some homework for today, and then of course we'll clean up at the end. Uh, our homework for today is gonna be, I want you to find two examples of potential energy and kinetic energy from your daily life. Since we'll have talked about those in the notes today, looking at potential and kinetic energy, what the definitions are and what some examples are. I want you to go home and find some examples for yourself. Uh, so that is what the plan is for today. For tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at a lab, uh, You've Got Potential. I made some reference to this in a couple of classes on Friday. Um, we're going to be actually using these loop-de-loos, um, trying to see if we can get cars to go through there. Now, cars going through the loop-de-loo does not mean throwing cars across the room, because if we break the cars, we can't do the lab. Uh, I know some people had some struggles with throwing stuff around the room with the last lab. So that's not going to happen. It's part of our lab safety. We need to make sure we're actually using lab materials appropriately. Um, that's enough. That's my soapbox for that. Uh, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. So put that back in there. Um, then, so that's going to go for a couple of days. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly into Thursday. So then we're going to be looking at um, some review activities on Thursday. That's the current plan. Um, if necessary, those review activities will be pushed over to Friday. And doing any uh, correctives, any missing work that you have on Google, then will be on Thursday slash Friday, depending on how that schedule actually works out. Uh, tough to predict the whole week here on Monday. And then the quiz will be on Friday, or if everything gets pushed today because the lab is taking longer, then move the quiz to Monday. If, if, uh, do you want to go ahead and point that out? Um, you know what's on the quiz. We've talked about it. Um, I think we're going to try to do one more CER as well, just so you can have practice doing it on your own. So, you know, we'll kind of see, uh, play it by ear, but just wanted to give you a brief preview of what the schedule looks like for this week. So I'm going to bring up the potential energy and kinetic energy notes here. You can go ahead and grab your Chromebooks. Um, you don't need to wait for live Neewim to say that. You can go ahead and get them right now. And then when you log in, you'll see that you have a spot where you can take notes. PowerPoint's been shared out with you, but not with the notes actually filled in. So you're going to be filling them in. Happy Monday.